Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and you're welcome to Glee Info. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you're watching from. I have something very important to discuss this morning, which is IPOP president or the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra group said any army sent to Southeast will die. Nam the Kanu death President Muhammad Buhari saying that any army he sent to the Southeast will definitely die there and will not return back alive. This is due to the matter arising in Nigeria. The president tweeted recently saying that, let me read the tweet for you. It says, it says many of those misbehaving to many of those misbehaving today are too young to be aware of the destruction and loss of lives that occurred during the civil war that's 1967 to 1970 those of us in the field for 30 months who went through the war will treat them in the language they understand it added this particular tweet has really brought a lot of of, of, of comments, a lot of talks on the floor in Nigeria for the past hours and for the past days. Aisha Yusufu has responded to this. The Minister of Information, Lai Mohammed, has responded to this. And so many other Nigerians have responded to this particular tweet. And because of it, Nigerians are seeing this as a threat to the Biafra land. Nigerians are seeing this as a threat to the Igbos. Not only the Igbos, the entire youth in Nigeria. And so many others have reported this particular tweet, leading that Twitter had to delete this tweet from the, by the president, President Major General Muhammad worry. Twitter deleted this tweet because of so many people have reported the tweet and also Lai Mohammed came out and he said that the mission of Twitter in Nigeria is suspicious. That's why did they have the tweet. But looking at this, I think this is a really a threat. They saying that you will treat them in the language they understand. According to what Aisha Yusuf said, no Nigeria no Nigerian is more Nigerian than any other Nigerian. Well, I will bring you a video by Aisha Yusufu responding to the tweet of President Muhammad Buhari. Watch. My name is Aisha Santo Chuku Yusufu. I am Igbo. Any threat to the Igbo people is a threat to me. Any attack on the Igbo people is an attack on me. Any malignment of the Igbo people is a malignment to me. We are all Nigerians, and no Nigerian is more Nigerian than any Nigerian. And the government must ensure that it deploys its resources and it deploys its apparatus equally to every section of this country. I totally condemn the tweets from the president where the president is threatening the Igbo people. He is threatening them with what happened in 1967. What happened in 1967 was a genocide, a crime against humanity. And it must never, ever, ever be allowed to happen again. Not only must it never, ever be allowed to happen again, Nigeria must apologize for that crime against humanity. And for a president to come out today and use 1967 as a yardstick to threaten people with what happened then, with the 30 months of gruesomeness, with the 30 months of heinousness, with the 30 months of atrocities that were meted out on human beings, on fellow brothers and sisters, on children in this country. It's inhumane, it's insensitive, it is callous, and it's unspeakable. And I, Aisha Somto Chuku Yesufu, I am saying today, I am repeating today, that I am Igbo. And any attack on Igbo people is an attack on me. No Nigerian is more Nigerian than any Nigerian. And this country belongs to all of us. Now, going back to the news, which says any army sent to the southeast will die. Now the Kanu, there's President Buhari. Any army, okay, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, Mazi Namdekano, has responded to the threat of President Muhammad Buhari to shock Igbos with his civil war experience. In a statement made available to the Igbera TV, Kanu said that any army they send to Biafra land will die there. 
According to him, it's not for the living to respond to the dead, but given the lack of a reasoning prevalent in the zoo, Nigeria. I wish to assure Gariba Shehu, the jihad Mignet, El Rufai, and that Fulani lapdog Femi Adesina, that any army they send to Biafra land will die there. Now, none will return alive. Well, I don't know what your thoughts and opinions on this are, but you can leave that in the comment section below. I think Nigeria is a country for everybody. No one should be discriminated. There should not be any form of segregation in this our motherland. Nigerians, what Nigeria was meant for the Igbos, was meant for the houses and the Yoruba. So there should not be any form of genocide, any form of threat, any form of civil war occurring in Nigeria. The Igbos are, are a lot is happening in the Igbo land. So many of them have been killed day by day. But you, you, you come to see that so many things have been happening in the Southeast recently. A lot has been happening. The police stations are being burnt down. Law courts are being burnt down. What I'm saying is that Nigerians should come together and let's reason together. Burning down things, burning down federal government infrastructures, federal government institutions and, 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 and buildings will not help anybody. Instead, we are drawing ourselves backward because all these things have been burned down. It will only stop, the, if the island promise is burned down, this will only stop credible elections to, from, from being carried out in the Igbo land. So I think the burning down of things should be stopped so that the Nigerians or so that we all can come together and reason as one. The president is supposed to be a man of intelligence. I'm not saying our president is, is, is not sound, but I'm saying he should be mindful of the kind of message or, or the kind of tweets or the kind of things or comments he, he, he posts online because any form of, 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 of word that is not appropriate can be seen as a threat to a particular tribe or to a particular religion. The president, when he assumed office so many years ago, over six years ago, he said he's a man of the people. He said he's for everybody and he's for nobody. So he's supposed to be a man that stands for every part of Nigeria or stand with everybody of Nigeria, not any form, not segregating or, or, or treating or saying he will respond or treat them in the language they understand. I think that particular statement has really caused riots and confusion in Nigeria. Well, you can leave your comment in the comment section below. Stay tuned. Well, someone said, no Biafra. We will give you another civil war. 81-year-old Senator Bukachua to Southeast. Can you imagine what an 81-year-old man is saying? They say gray hair is wisdom, but we can tell that this 81-year-old senator has no wisdom. I don't know if you agree with me. But an 81-year-old man is saying, no Biafra, we will give you another civil war. I think this should not be coming from an elderly man. He said, no Biafra will give you another civil war. Senator Adamu Bukachua, chairman of Senate Committee on Foreign Relations, has stated that Nigeria is ready to go to war with Southeast over its demand of a sovereignty state. Nigeria is not ready to go to war. Sir, if you are listening to this, you are speaking for yourself. Nigeria as a whole, or the youth, or, or, or the nation, we are not ready for another civil war. Because I'm not sure you are ready to fight. If they give you the gun, give you the weapon to go out there and go and fight, I'm not sure you'll be ready to go out there. So Nigerians are not ready. The soldiers are not ready for another civil war. Let me read what he said. He said, he added that the Nigerian government will not bow down and give them their wish. Speaking during an interview on Channel TV, Bukachua said, there are people who feel democracy is not good enough for them and they want to devise their own means of belonging to this entity called Nigeria. And if they don't have their wish, they will let Nigerians to go to pieces. He said on channels television, so is that anything that the constitution allows or encourage, so they absolutely outside the realm of the constitution. They are just rebels and criminals in short. So what are we going to consider to even give them a chance to come and say their wish and let Nigerians tremble and bow before them and say, okay, we granted you your wish. Those insurgency in the Southeast, they are all claiming that they want their own country called a Biafra, right? If that is the case, it is 
is it by killing people that they'll get their country. They tried it before, so they want to go back to the same route. I don't think so. But if they do, if that's what they choose, has Nigerian got any choice? We will just allow them bow and say, we will grant you your wish. We will just allow them bow and say, we will grant you your own wish. No, Nigerian government has to stand out, fight them and give them what they want, he added. And all the violence occurring around the country was because of the upcoming 2023 election, adding that he, do not, he does not believe in zoning the presidency to any region. Well, if you don't believe in zoning the presidency to any region, then why has the Igbos not attained that position or the, been the president for so many years? The last one that attained was uh, uh, Namdi Azikiwe, and that was one of the first presidents of Nigeria. But since then, we have not seen any Igbo rule Nigeria. This is to show that Nigeria as a country, or the government of Nigeria, has been unfair to the Igbos. But what this 81-year-old man is saying, I can reason from his point of view, but let us look at it from a reasonable point of view. This is wrong. Give it, he said, we will give them another civil war. Nigeria don't want another civil war. He was alive during the civil war. And he has, I'm sure he has seen what really happened. Like I said earlier on, so many was killed. The millions of Nigerians were killed. So many girls were raped. So many who suffered hunger and died of hunger. So saying that you want another civil war or will give them another civil war is a statement that is not to be altered by an 81-year-old man. Sorry, sir, I must say you lack a wisdom. Stay tuned and keep watching Glee Info.